Hi everyone, welcome to course selection for the 2021-2022 school year. We're so excited to be embarking on this process with you. Just to do a quick reintroduction, we are your school counselors. I'm Mrs. Taylor and I work with students with the last names beginning with the letters A through D. Hi everyone, I'm Mrs. Munt and I work with students' last names E through L. Hello, I am Manny Harwich. I have students uh, with last names M through R. And I'm Dominique Ross and I have students with last names S through Z. As you embark on this process, we really want you to think about what your life is like. We want you to think about what makes sense for you from a challenge perspective, uh, from courses that have meaning and purpose for you. Take what you want to take. Don't take something because you think it's going to look good. Uh, we also want you to think about balance in your life. What do you have going on outside of school? We want you to sleep. We want you to have joy in your life. And we also want you to challenge yourself academically. And all of those things are possible. So we look forward to helping you through this process and hope you, you find this resource helpful. Hi everyone, welcome to the course selection process for the 2021-2022 school year for current grades nine to 11. Course selection is a fun time. It's an opportunity for students to select courses for next year. So we ask you to take this seriously, talk to your teachers, talk to your parents and school counselor and to use your resources. This will help us and helping you to develop the best schedule possible for all students. Did you know the course catalog is online? Yes, you can access it, the HHS Program of Studies on the HHS website. It lists every course along with a description, level, and credit information, in addition to any prerequisites you may need. So be sure to check it out. This is a great opportunity to research classes, prerequisites, and course sequence. The basics. You're planning your schedule for the entire 2021-2022 school year. Now is a great time to go online and look at that program of studies. Choose a schedule for yourself that is both challenging and manageable. Think balance when you're creating your schedule. Keep in mind your plans for the future when selecting courses. It is important that we stick to a schedule and a timeline so that we can help you get the courses you want for next year. And while final schedules are not available until August, help us help you in getting the right number of sections and classes and give you the best schedule possible. You will select core, elective, and alternate courses. You will be selecting a total of eight credits, and these include core and elective courses that you would like as your schedule for next year. You will also select alternate courses. These courses may be substituted if one of the original eight credits you selected is not available. Now, oftentimes students have, idea, have an idea in their head of their schedule, and so we created a form this year so that we can do our best to make that happen for you. So we ask you to complete this form um, so that you can communicate to us your priorities um, and classes that are most important to you, um, the classes that you really want to take, um, and to tell us your plan. Now, we cannot guarantee that we can accommodate all your requests, but we sure do our best to try to make that happen as much as possible. The graduation requirements for Holliston High School are 26 credits. Of those 26 credits, four and a half must be earned in English. These include one semester core credit each year and a half a credit of essay writing by the end of the sophomore year. So a basic course plan would be English 9 for ninth graders, in 10th grade, English 10, in 11th grade, English 11 or AP composition, and in 12th grade, student choice, which would be a core semester English elective or an AP literature course. In addition to these core requirements, oftentimes students like to select other English electives to round out their schedule. And so again, these are listed on the program of studies and be sure to check it out. Fine and performing arts students are required to have one full credit of fine and performing arts credits. We have a fine arts major program at Holliston High School that requires a portfolio review. We also have general fine art electives that students can select. 
as well as theater, film, and effective communication, and music. So these are wonderful opportunities for students. And again, all of these courses are listed in the program of studies. In math, the graduation requirement is four credits to include one full credit junior or, se or senior year. Um, we have listed a sequence of courses, but also keep in mind the Massachusetts Department of Higher Education Admissions maintains minimum standards for entrance in the Massachusetts State University system. So to be eligible, students will need to complete four courses of high school mathematics and one course credit must be completed during their senior year. If you have any questions about these requirements, please don't hesitate to reach out to your school counselor. In addition to, to math core classes, we also have math electives and business electives to round out and balance your schedule. In science, four credits are required, which include a half a credit of foundations of 21st century learning, typically taken during the freshman year. So your basic course plan in ninth grade would be biology or physics and foundations of 21st century learning. In 10th grade, it would be physics or biology. In chemistry, I'm sorry, in 11th grade, it would be chemistry. And then in 12th grade, once again, it would be student choice. Um, these could come from core semester courses, such as marine biology, uh, anatomy and physiology, or environmental science. As well, we have science and technology electives that are available for students. So we have semester courses and we have term classes that are available for students. In social studies, there's four full credits to include one credit junior or senior year. So the basic course plan in ninth grade would be US History 1. In 10th grade, it would be Modern World History or AP European History. In 11th grade, it would be US History 2 or AP United States History. And then in 12th grade, it would be student choice. So it could be electives, opportunities in term classes or semester classes for students. In world language, two credits in the same language. Uh, it's important to know that competitive colleges often like to see three to four years in the same language, um, but our Holliston High School requirement is only two. Um, if you have any questions about requirements, world language or, or college um, admissions criteria, please don't hesitate to reach out to your school counselor. In wellness, two full credits, which equate to one course each year. So in ninth grade, students will take Wellness 9. In 10th grade, they'll take Wellness 10. And 11th and 12th grade, they will select from elective options. Once again, these are posted in our program of studies with descriptions for students to look at before they select these options. We also have other opportunities that students might be interested in taking. We have online classes for all students um, in grades 9 through 11. These are taken in addition to the current schedule. It does require a registration and the, the two links are Google Forms that students would complete if they're interested in taking those courses. And in 12th grade, students take them in lieu of a course. So it's taken within their, their senior year schedule. For seniors, we also have a wonderful option of internships or senior projects. So again, be sure to check out those options that students can take within their schedule as they're registering for their courses. At Halston High School, there's a computer science endorsement program. The CSE program is a way for students to focus their electives on computer science related courses and projects. Through a combination of coursework and independent projects, um, students participate in a wide variety of learning. And for more information on the CSE program, be sure to check it out in the program of studies. So again, students will select a total of eight credits. They will choose core courses first. Students, all the recommendations are already listed in PowerSchool, so you'll be able to see your teacher recommendations when you're selecting a total of eight credits. Students must also select at least two alternate electives. Those are different than the courses you chose under your total of eight credits. Students will select a wellness course. Current ninth graders, this will automatically be preloaded to enroll in Wellness 10. And current 10th and 11th graders will select a wellness elective course. So our scheduling timeline, this week and next, 
You want to review your options, review your teacher recommendations, talk to your teachers if you haven't already, talk to your parents, and contact your, question, your counselor with any questions. We are happy to help with this process. Um, our, the portal will go live on Friday, March 26th at 4 p.m. At that point, you can go into the portal in PowerSchool and you can begin selecting your courses. That portal will close on April 5th at 9 p.m. This is a hard stop. Again, keeping the scheduling timeline is really important so that we can help you. So please understand that between Friday, March 26th at 4 p.m. and Monday, April 5th at 9 p.m. is your time to select your courses and we would encourage you to do so. For some of you, you may be considering an override. Um, again, your teachers have recommended you for courses. Um, however, if you are thinking of doing an override, we would encourage you to reread the course description and the level descriptives descriptors located in the program of study. You will select the course you are recommended for on PowerSchool, even if you intend to complete the override process. The student and guardian will meet with the current teacher about that recommendation, and then they will complete an override form if they still choose to do the override. It's important to know that the override form needs to be to your school counselor by April 14th. Okay, so your final overview is to review your teacher recommendations with your parents or guardians. You're going to select eight credits based on teacher recommendation and student interest. Start with the core courses and then pick electives. Pick several alternate courses that can be substituted for any of the original credits, eight credits. Submit your final course selection in PowerSchool by April 5th at 9 p.m. And if you decide to override, complete a Google form that is due by April 14th. Reminder, school counseling has a form to communicate with your counselor about priority courses and preferences. Once again, this is a fun time. This is exciting time. Help us help you in getting the classes that you want by being timely. And please don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions to your school counselor. Good morning, this is Ms. Archambault, one of the assistant principals here at Holliston High School. I am going to be showing you this morning how you're going to request courses for the next school year. The first thing you want to do is, do is go to the Holliston High School website. From the website on the bottom right over here, you'll see a link to PowerSchool Unified Classroom, which I'm sure you're familiar with, but if you click on it, it will launch the login screen. In order to request courses for next school year, you actually need to log in using your Gmail account for Holliston Public Schools. So I'm going to click on sign in with Google. It's going to log. You'll see your own email address. You want to click on it and put in your password. I'm going to put in this person's password and hit next. It will then redirect you to the Unified Classroom website. You may see this dialog box. If that appears, just hit the X. You don't need that information. On the left-hand side is um, an option to quick links. You wanna click on quick links and some different options appear. We're looking for class registration down here at the bottom. If you click on class registration, it will send you to the PowerSchool site to register for classes. Um, it, this popped right to the class registration page. If you don't pop right to the class registration page, you can click on class registration on the left over here and it'll bring up the correct page. At the top, you'll see some important information about the you. In order to complete this form, you must select at least eight credits, which I'm gonna show you how to do in a second. You must also select four alternate courses in case you don't get the alternate elective choices, in case your first choices are unavailable. If you wanna to refer to the program of studies, there's a, um, a link to the program of studies, just copy and paste it into a new tab and it'll give you information about all of our courses. In addition, if you'd like to prioritize your elective choices, if you copy and paste this link, it'll send you to the school counseling page where you can actually fill out a form to prioritize your electives. Um, this is actually a 10th grader going into 11th grader registration form, but it will, based on your grade level, you'll see one that's pertinent to the grade that you'll be rising into. So an 11th grader and 12th grader will see English 12 here. So from these um, courses that are, you wanna select each course listed. 
So for the first one for English, if you notice this exclamation point over here, the red exclamation point, that indicates that this is a required course. And if you don't select one of these, when you go to hit submit, it will tell you you forgot to select an English course. If you click on the pencil, it will offer you options for this grade level for what Englishes are available to you. The one that your teacher recommended for you will have a little box next to it and it will, should be in bold. You wanna click the one the teacher recommended you for. And then if you scroll down, you just hit the OK button. And then the course will appear in your English selection in one credit and the check mark will change to from an exclamation point to a green check. If you're gonna be taking a math course, you click on the pencil, you select the one that your teacher recommended you for, and then you scroll down and hit OK. And you keep moving through the courses. For the science course, you wanted to pick the one that your teacher recommended you for, and then hit Submit. So this is a good example of if you were not recommended for a course, so there was some confusion if you touch base with your teacher. This child does not have any recommendations for science. You want to touch base with your teacher or your counselor um, to make a correction to that. So let's skip over science then and go to social studies. And social studies, uh, modern world history is a course I was recommended for. I'm going to select that and hit the OK button. For wellness, again, the exclamation point indicates it's a required course. So I'm going to select my wellness course and hit OK, whichever one you want. Um, you also need to select a secondary choice for wellness in case the course you wanted is not available. So I'm going to select a second option. That will not count towards your initial eight credits. Um, it's just an extra alternate choice just in case your choice is not available to you. For world language, you wanna select the world language course that you were recommended for and hit the okay button if you're choosing to take world language. And then we have the different elective choices by department. So you can pick the elective choices that you were interested in. If you scroll down to the bottom, you'll notice that we're at four and a half out of eight required credits. Try and keep in mind that you're gonna to need to go back and select a credit for science, but we need to select eight to be able to submit our form. So for business, I'm gonna, I am interested in taking accounting. I'm gonna select that. Um, I actually am interested in taking acting. You're just selecting which things you're interested in. Um, I actually wanna take also, I'm very interested in music. I wanna say acting and AP music theory. So then if you scroll down here, you can see I'm actually at seven of eight credits. I only need one more credit. So I am going to actually choose a half a credit of a science elective and hit okay and social studies. So you're just selecting what interests you. Um, I'm just demoing for you. And then you hit okay at the bottom. So don't forget that it's required that you select a minimum of preferably four alternate choices, but you need to select at least two. So I'm going to select some different alternate elective choices. There's many elective choices. You'll see down at the bottom here, there are pages and pages of electives. So select the alternate elective choices that you're interested in. I'm going to, you have to select at least a minimum of two. I'm just selecting some random things here. Okay, I did four and I'm gonna hit okay. They'll all appear. Again, they don't count towards your eight credits. And then you hit submit. And that is the entire process. And it will show you the courses that you have requested for next year. Um, registration is open from March 26th to April 5th. So in between that time period, if you decide you would like to make a change, if you go through that same process again, and click on class registration, the registration will still be open and you can go and make your changes. So you could go add that science course that you wanted to. You could decide, oh, nope, I don't want that as a wellness course. I actually want human development and childcare and you click okay. And then you would just hit submit again. After April 5th, you would need to contact school counseling in order to make a change, but this is open till April 5th. Um, if you would like to override a recommendation that is listed. There will be a form available on the guidance website, the school counseling website, which will indicate that you can make changes on how you would um, request an override. There's a form to fill out for a recommendation of a level. Um, that is the entire process. If uh, Just so you know, overrides are need to be in by April 14th. Um, if you have any questions, you can contact the school counseling office and they will be more than happy to help you out. Good luck to everyone and we look forward to seeing you in person soon. 
please reach out to your counselor with any questions. You can always access the school counseling website by using this QR code. Here, you'll find links to the program of studies, override forms, online course descriptions, and links to your counselor's calendar. Happy course selecting! Thank you.